body is not used to uh, maybe the 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th rep with a certain weight. So that makes the body grow then, going through this pain barrier, experiencing uh, pain in your muscles and aching and just then go on and go on and go on. And this last two or three or four repetitions, that's what makes actually the muscle then grow. And that uh, divides then one from a champion and one from not being a champion. If you can go through this pain barrier, you make it to be a champion. If you can't go through, forget it. And that's what most people like, is on this, having the guts. The guts to go in and just say, I go through and I don't care what happens. You know, it aches and if I fall down, I, I have no fear of fainting in the gym. Because I know it's, it, it, it could happen. I threw up many times while I was working out. But it doesn't matter, because it's all worth it. Success guys, a very, very lonely road, man. Very few people are willing to endure the pain, the sacrifice, the due diligence to be successful. It's an uphill battle. And along that road, you're not gonna see too many friends. You're gonna see your shadow most often. You gotta trust in the heart of hearts, inside what you're doing, what you believe in is a worthy cause, a winnable fight. See, the thing is, for many people, they've tried the same path you're on, and they failed. As you walk this journey, you're going to see carcasses all over the place of people that didn't quite have it. That should inspire you because you got further than that person and that person. But you're not looking to get further than them. You're looking to finish. How do you know you're on the right path? Where do you go to ensure that? Do you talk to your neighbor? No, you don't talk to him. I'll tell you about the neighbor, guys. That neighbor's going to come in, man. And if you're a little chubby, a little overweight, you'd be like, hey, man, I'm thinking about doing a routine, man, or getting a training program where I lose some weight. He's going to encourage you at first. He said, yeah, you should, you should. Basically insulting your ass and you're fat and you need to lose some weight. That's never support. It's negative shit. Oh, you should lose some weight. So then you, go, you take his advice and you start training, you start doing something, you start to get in shape a little bit, maybe at his level. Then all of a sudden he's going to start asking questions. His tone's going to shift, especially as you get in better shape than him. Then he's going to start talking shit. Because what happens now, guys, is that your success is like a spotlight shining down on their missed opportunities. Success, many will love you for it. The majority will hate you. Because your success makes them feel insufficient in their current endeavor. Reminds them of where they could have done it, but they came up short and how they didn't revisit it. Where they went at it and failed, and failure is what stood. They never revisited it again. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure is there every single time. It's just that the winner gets back up and does it again, and does it again, until it goes his way. So now you're down that path and you're all alone. How do you know you're on the right path? How do you know what you're doing is in the right direction? If you're wondering if you're on the right path, look at the small things of life. How do you do them? When you wash your car, you spend an hour washing your car, you finish washing, you put the hoses and everything away and the brushes, and you come outside to look at the job you did, but you notice the spot's missing. What do you do? Do you re-grab the hoses, pull it all out, and finish the job right? Or do you say, you know, that's good enough? And it's good enough. Because the thing about good enough is we don't know if it's enough. Until the nth hour, the final hour, and everything's on the, on the line. We, that's when we find out if it is enough. And if we come up short, man, doesn't that suck? I promise you guys, if today you never say good enough, tomorrow you'll always have enough. What I'm saying is the character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you, it's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. Championships aren't won in the theater of the arena. They're won in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's raining when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The heart of a champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. If you're dusting your countertops, do you dust around the picture frame? Or do you pick the f up and dust the entire thing? Do the job right or don't do it at all. That's the same person who has his hand raised on the podium one day. Same mother how you hold yourself in the small things of life. Build the character winning blocks of the things that we were remembered for. I see them as one and one the same, guys. It begins right now with no one looking, man. And how you hold yourself, how you see yourself. 
What do you do when no one's watching? If you do it then, I guarantee you, you'll be doing it when everyone's watching.